Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. A SWAT team descends on a California neighborhood, and after a gas grenade is thrown at a house, a man emerges with his hands up, and he's placed under arrest. The suspects, according to cops, shot and killed a sheriff's deputy while the deputy was stopped at a traffic light. As Jim Murray reports the arrest was met with a round of applause. The victim is 30-year-old deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer, who was ambushed as he sat in his police cruiser at a traffic light. He got engaged just four days before his slaying. Cops believe this video of a car pulling alongside Klinkenbrumer's vehicle may show the moment of the slaying. Even the sheriff choked up at the news conference. Ryan's family will never see him again. Excuse me. The suspect's mother says her son has been diagnosed as paranoid schizophrenic. She said he heard voices in his head and believed people were following him. I spoke to his sister Jessica today as their mother stood at her side. If it happened, when it happened, he wasn't in his right state of mind. He was having an episode of schizophrenia. An honor guard of police vehicles with lights flashing escorted the van to the coroner's office. And fellow officers saluted as the convoy passed. Klinkenbrumer was a third generation sheriff's deputy. Grief filled the air at a vigil Sunday for the slain deputy. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. 